You know, Dennis Rodman, during our interview, he said that uh, Larry Bird, if he was playing today, he'd be playing for Europe. If Larry Bird played in this era, I think he'd be in Europe. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know, man. Really? You know, I, like I said, I'm just saying he'd be somewhere over there. But as you know, I think his game was fit for Boston at that time in the 80s and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, but uh, so uh, today's world, oh, hell no. There's, there's no way. I'm not just this, this, uh, play, uh, downplaying him because he's a great player at that time, just like I was. And uh, But I'm saying, no, there's no way. No way. And when I brought this up to Dominique Wilkins, he said that he's he's crazy. He didn't even say that. You know, I respect Dennis. A lot of respect Dennis. No Dennis Worth. He's a good dude. But um, that's delusional. <laughs> delusional. Larry Bird could play in any era and do the same thing he did in our era. It couldn't handle him. The day players could not handle him. Period. That's like when he said that shit back when the Pistons was playing the... Uh... Uh, uh, Celtics. Celtics. Yeah, yeah I actually brought that said up. That thing about he even, Larry, he even said, on. well, I didn't really, he said, I was young and just talking my shit. Well, he's all of me still talking his shit. <laughs> he's still just as stupid. <laughs> I mean, how come people really don't give Larry Bird his No, name? people do. He doesn't. Hmm. People do. You know, I, I remember uh, I was watching this great documentary on HBO called Courtship of Rivals about Bird and Magic. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah, and uh, I, I know I'm going to get my man's name wrong. The jazz guy. I don't, it's not Herbie Hancock, but it's it was a jazz guy. And he said something about, you know, when you go into a black barbershop, black people talked about Larry Bird. You know, when you go into most black people's homes, on their posters on their wall were like, you know, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, a picture of Jesus, and then Larry Bird. He goes, when you're in black people's homes, you're the real deal. Larry was the real fucking deal. Knock it off. And to those people who go, Larry Bird couldn't play in today's era. Larry Bird is a better player than Luka Doncic. And Luka's killing. You yeah. telling me Bird wouldn't dominate? Yeah. He's a better player than Luka Doncic. Right. And he would get in your head. Come on, man. And, and like his, uh, well, Bird had that killer instinct that you just don't see in sports yes. all the time. He right. had it. And that's what I loved about, and we forgot to mention that on uh, Winning Time. The way they talk, how they showcase, yeah. how he went to go play in jeans and said, this actually happened. Yeah. Give me the ball. <laughs> Bird was a shit talker. Oh, yeah. He was a nigga from French Lick. From French Lick? He was. That's exactly where he was from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, D Dominique, like he said that, uh, what did he say? He said the first time he played him, he played Larry Bird. He goes to shake his hand. Larry Bird just looked at him, put his hands behind his back, and walked away. Yeah. And then, like, the first time Bird scored on him, he's like, yeah, we can do this all day, Holmes. He's yeah. Like, Holmes? He yeah, man. Holmes? He they said Larry Bird shit. felt disrespected when the opposing coach put a white guy on him. He <laughs> felt it was a sign of disrespect. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man.